welcome back nail crew welcome back so today i'm trying some new products for you guys i'm going to give you guys my opinion Woo! you don't want to miss this video you guys you don't want to miss it but before we jump into that let's give a hey girl hey a nail crew member shout out to miss tina i hope that's how you say it i hope that it's tina and not tenna oh my gosh please correct me if i'm wrong you guys drop a hey girl hey in the comments for my nail sis thank you thank you thank you so much for your support i love 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 you so much <laughs> all right i also want to show you guys my setup for today because i'm not home so i have my new ring light the one that i just did the unboxing for i have that on the table got my cell phone also have my little fan in the back over there got my speaker because you know i need my old school reggae jams i have my practice hand i have the product that i'm going to try and i want you to notice the hand is clamped to the side of the table instead of the back of the table because on this particular table it could not be attached to the back so this is kind of weird the angle that i'm at is weird so i don't know we'll see how it goes by the end of the video all right y'all let me show you my nail goodie so the first thing i have is is a cleaner it's a nail surface cleaner so we'll be using that today i also have some top coat and it's kind of sticky on the outside like it might have been leaking but it still looks pretty full so i got the top coat and then i have some gel this one is clear and this one is white whoop, whoop. you guys know i love 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 gel you guys i love gel and then this one is pink and then i also have a primer you guys how cool okay so before we get into that i want to show you guys my nail tips so last year when i had a practice hand that looked exactly like this I remember getting these nail tips and they worked really well. So I wanted to get them again to see if they're going to fit into this practice hand. I know that a lot of the practice hands look very similar, but then the nail tips won't fit in them. You know what I mean? So I'm hoping that these tips fit in the current practice hand that I have. If so, oh, I'm going to be just so freaking thrilled because they have so many sizes in here. Look how small that is. If you wanted to do a small nail, maybe a pinky or if you wanted to practice on someone with smaller nail beds super super cool and easy right and then look at this one so they have a large look you guys let me compare it for you let me compare because i know it's hard to see it inside of the container so you have smaller nail beds and then you have a larger longer nail bed i think that's super cool because because you guys if you're practicing this for a career you're in school you do need to practice on different sizes of nail beds people have large small short round flat like it's all different shapes it's all different sizes so oh my gosh i'm so happy like the first time i bought these nail tips last year i was over the moon happy i was very very impressed with them and so that's why i was like boom i gotta get them again so i'm popping them into my trainer hand and i'm doing the smaller nail bed ones first and they all fit you guys they all fit they all fit they all fit and they're secure look at that i'm trying to move it i'm trying to take them out and they're in there they're in there they're in there okay so i'm going to take them out and then i'm going to try it again with the ones that are longer the longer nail bed so oh oh my god fingers crossed on these so i'm just gonna pop them in randomly and we'll just see what happens so right off the bat i noticed that the ring finger is not snapping in place like the smaller ones did the smaller ones snapped right into place into all five fingers zero issues um the longer nail bed though it did not snap into the ring finger it did snap into the pinky and it feels very very secure so i'm just going to keep playing with the ring finger with different sizes you guys can watch me do that and hopefully something sticks in there because um yeah <laughs> well yeah <laughs> i need something to fit in there hello nope 
what the hell so it fits in the pinky it fits in the middle finger still no luck for the ring finger i don't know why the other ones are so secure and snug that i'm very confused why the ring finger is giving me trouble you know what i mean it's like that bad child you bring out in public and you're like do not embarrass me today we are going to walmart don't touch nothing don't embarrass me and you know what they do they embarrass you and that's how i feel right now because i was so hype about these nail tips and you know i'm just uh, what the hell you guys what is going on here so i could put a nail tip inside of the ring finger right i could get it in there enough to work with it but it just doesn't feel as secure as the other ones like look at the other ones secure not going nowhere not going nowhere not going nowhere but then the ring finger close up honey close up Boop! look at that what in the what 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 i don't even know so i'm putting back the shorter nail bed in there because that one clicks right into place and is very secure so we'll be using the shorter nail beds today all right yeah well um that was that you guys that was that so <laughs> i still think the nail tips are really good the shorter nail bed ones worked fine. The ones with the longer nail bed worked fine, except for the ring finger. I don't know. I still think it's a really, really good buy. So if you're in the market for some nail tips for your nail practice trainer hand, you guys, I still will recommend this. Even though the ring finger is kind of doing something funky, all the other nail tips fit very, very well. I guess I'm just going to have to figure something else out for that ring finger. All right, so let's get to work. So the the nails have been prepped and I'm trying to clean the surface with this surface cleaner. This thing smells exactly like water. I don't know what's in it, but the ingredients say like ethyl acetate or acetone or something to that nature. And um, that has a smell to it. I'm not smelling that in here. Like what's in my bottle is just water. It's water. I'm telling you guys, it's water. It's nothing but water. It's water. <laughs> but I'm using it anyway, okay? I'm using it anyway. Um, yeah, that, I don't know what to say about this surface cleaner. I, I just would use alcohol. Honestly, guys, I wouldn't buy it. I would just get alcohol from Walmart, the Dollar Tree, wherever, and I would just use alcohol. All right, so now we're going to use the primer. And I'm. it's brand new, as you can tell, but it's kind of dirty. What the hell? Like, you could... What? It was dirty, you guys. This is brand new product. It came dirty. All right, so what is really happening today? What is really happening? <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm not even going to blame them for the dirty product. Let's just say I had it in my nail stuff and that's my glitter that got around. Let's just do that. Let's just say that is my fault because honestly I just don't know so I'm applying the primer and as you can tell from the lid it says UV primer so after you apply a thin layer then you put it in the lamp and you cure it for 60 seconds and I have tried other UV primers especially the one from Burano you guys Burano has a really good primer that comes in their poly gel kit and that thing if you guys don't remember that video I'll leave a link in the description box but I did my nails with Burano poly gel and my nails stayed on for at least a month, I think like a month and a half. And I used their primer and it was really good and it was a UV primer. So I know sometimes we get leery about trying new products, especially a primer that you have to heat up and cure, right? Um, but I have tried a UV primer in the past and they work just as well. All right, so the nails have been prepped, they have been primed, and now I'm going in with the gel. I decided to use the pink because I wanted you guys to see that it's not like an opaque pink it's not a cover pink it's a clear pink and once it's cured it looks more clear than anything you might have like a hint of pink but it's really just clear so that's why I decided to use this one it's also very thick I actually love the consistency when I tell you guys I like a thick consistency gel this is the consistency that I'm talking about I don't like something so loose i don't i don't like all that fluid gel that as soon as you put it on the nail it's just all i don't like that i like a nice thick syrupy type gel that's going to work easily that's what i want okay so i did notice that when i put the gel in the full well nail tip it did not spread well and that could be either because i did not have enough 
or that it was too thick. So to fix that, I'm just brushing some right onto the nail. This is going to help give you an even distribution of the gel. So once you apply it to the nail and you make sure that there's some also in the nail tip, you place the nail tip onto the nail and you flash cure it for 10 seconds. The gel should start to cure in 10 seconds. That's going to give it a hold. It's not going to keep it in place forever. It's just going to hold it in place long enough so that you can move on to the next finger, okay? If you felt insecure about that, if you just was not comfortable with flash curing, then you're welcome to do a full cure for 60 seconds. I just feel like that wastes time. So 10 seconds, flash cure, move on to the next one, and then cure them all at the same time in the end. Now, this gel is not flash curing at all. Oh, I did a 10 second, then I did it for another 10 second. Now it's on for like 30 seconds and still nothing. And I'm so confused. Oh. What in the what? All right, so I ended up after like an hour of fussing with the gel, trying to make it work, I ended up just using base coat because I was losing my mind. But I did save one more finger to try it again on camera just so you guys can see what I was going through, okay? So just like always, I applied the gel into the nail tip. Now I'm also applying it to the actual nail itself just for that even distribution I was talking about, right? No big deal there. And then I'm just going to place the nail right onto the nail plate just as always and try to flash cure it now you guys I had to speed this clip up because I was here for a very long time and you guys would get very bored and very frustrated if you were in my shoes so I sped the clip up for you but look 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 nothing 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 it's actually turning into like goo like you know the inside of a wet baby diaper all my mama's in the house you know the inside of a wet baby diaper when it's like a jelly goopy goo. That's exactly what this turned into. If the gel does not flash cure in 10 seconds, I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm a big flash curer. -er. A big flash curing person. A person that flash cures a lot. That's me. If the gel cannot be flash cured, what am I doing with it? No, ma'am. No, 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 no. So look at that. Look. Oh. Uh, what is the what what listen yo let me tell you something i don't want it i don't want no parts of it i don't want it i don't want it i don't want it so this was the pink one i don't recommend this i don't recommend it <laughs> so i decided to try it with the clear i said you know what maybe the pink is like something's funky with the pink maybe it expired or something i don't know let's let's just attempt it with the clear so i'm going to do exactly the same thing that i did with the pink i'm gonna do it with the clear because i'm gonna give them a fair opportunity let me tell you something this company here lena lena uh huh I'm very sad and I'm very disappointed. I am very disappointed because when companies send me products to try, like I'd be so excited all the time and I try to weave through the good and the bad. And if it's something trash, I just won't make a video out of it. So I thought this gel was going to be something fun. And um, no, it's not. It's very frustrating actually. And I feel like I'm wasting my time. Actually, actually, no, I'm not wasting my time because I'm showing the nail crew what not to purchase okay <laughs> you're welcome look at this crap look at it it didn't even like hold or secure what in the what oh my gosh so here we go again so i'm going look look, look 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 how it's coming off on the side oh so i'm just going to file this off again and i'm going to place it on the nail with base coat something tried and true so the base coat that i'm using today is from sparkling co i do have a coupon code to sparkling co so i leave the link to this base coat because this base coat is going to work i'll leave a link to this base coat in the description box okay with the coupon code oh the little puddle 
The little lamp that I'm using to flash cure, I also have a coupon code for that. That is a lifesaver. So all my links and coupon codes will be in the description box. So you can see here how easy it's supposed to flash cure. Oh my gosh, I hope there are no beginners here. I hope nobody is here who has never seen this technique done before because I swear you'll be so discouraged from doing it, but oh my gosh. I'm going to do my nails probably tomorrow. And I will do my nails with this method so that I can show you how it's supposed to be done and how easy it's supposed to be. So if you're new and this is your first time here, please come back. Come back tomorrow, please. <laughs> Don't let this run you off. But anyway, after I applied the full well nail tips, you guys saw that I flash cured it for 10 seconds, right? Then like I mentioned before, you still have to do a full 60 second cure. Once the nails are cured, you're ready to go. So I'm removing the surface shine and that's just so that I could apply polish. If you don't remove the shine and you apply polish right on the shiny surface of the plastic nail tip, the nail polish will peel off, all right? That's for a beginner, that's a beginner tip. I know everybody else knows that, um, but a lot of beginners don't know that. And if you polish on a shiny surface, it will peel off, chip off, what have you. All right, so I got the two colors that I wanna use. The first one is a light blue. It's called Macaroon Blue, and it is from Model Ones, and I do have a coupon code, so I will leave the coupon code and the link in the description box. And the second color is from Madam Glam, and I love, this is a glitter, you guys. I love it, and it's called Stardust. I actually have the large bottle. These are mini bottles. These are my travel bottles. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'm not home, so I I don't have everything that I would have if I was at home, but I do have these cute little mini bottles. I love them. They are perfect for travel because you could bring so many colors, you guys. You could bring so many color varieties if they're small and they could fit into a small area. So anyway, I applied one coat, you guys, one coat. And that's it. I don't think I'm going to do two coats of this. We're just going to just let it rock with just that one coat. I think it's full coverage and it looks really, really good. I love the glitter. Most of the time with glitters, you have to do two coats to give it a full look. But nope, not today. Not today, not with Stardust. Madam Glam, you know you got this. So now, I just want to give it a little ombre effect on the middle finger, just so that it looks a little bit more cohesive. Like, oh my gosh, all the... Actually, you know what? We doing glitter on all the nails, honey. All the nails. Because I love this glitter. I love this. So the way that I came up with these colors, because you know, I always have a story when it comes to like, how did you pick these colors is always a story because when I look at my colors, I always wanna just gravitate towards pink and whatever would go good with pink. So yellow is really good, um, light pink is really good, dark pink is really good. Um, yeah, and yellow. So that's really the colors that, purple, sometimes I do purple, yeah. So that's where I live. So anytime that there's another color in play, you know there's a story behind it. So the blue, Anthony said, do light blue. And I was like, light blue? And he was like, yeah, you haven't done light blue on your own nails in a long time, probably ever. So I was like, okay, let me see what it's gonna look like real quick. So me doing these nails today was just to really practice and play with these colors to see what it's gonna look like on me. And I love them, I love them. So yeah, the blue was his idea and then the glitter was mine. <laughs> I have no problem ever picking out a damn glitter, you guys. Glitter is my forte. <laughs> So he picked the blue, I picked the glitter. Now, if you guys are like, what is she doing over there? What is she doing? She makes some blue polish, she makes some hard gel, and now she's throwing in white. What the hell, is she about to do a swirl nail? No ma'am, I'm not doing a swirl nail. I'm about to attempt a sweater nail. Now listen, this is gonna be tragic. I feel like it's gonna be tragic because I've just had a tragic day you guys nothing in this video has gone right so far it's like what and what what and what so i don't know how this sweater nail is gonna turn out but here we go here we go 
let me explain to you why I mixed the colors the way I did. So you saw me start with the blue, right? And then I added hard gel into the blue. The reason I added the hard gel is to just thicken up the blue a little bit because with gel polish, if it's warm, you know, especially with these lights and things, it will make the polish flat or it'll make it run. It just won't make the design stay the way you want it to stay. So you add a little bit of hard gel just to thicken it up and that'll help you create better lines. So I added the hard gel and then I added white. The reason I added white is because on camera, if I'm doing blue lines on blue polish, you won't see what I'm doing. It'll just look like, you won't see it. It'll just it, it'll just look weird to you. So I added the white just to give it a contrast, just so that you guys can tell what I'm doing. If you're doing this at home, you don't have to add the white if you don't like the way the white looks, all right? I've seen it done either way. I've seen it done with a lighter color. I've seen it done with the exact same color. And it looks good in person, but sometimes on camera, especially if it's really bright, uh, you don't really pick it up, okay? So anyway, that's why I added the white. And as you can tell, my lines are not straight. You guys, I cannot draw a straight line with a paintbrush to save my life. I'm going to work on it. I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna work on it. That's gonna be my next thing that I tackle. Drawing a straight, yeah, I'm gonna practice. We're gonna practice, Nail Crew. Nail Crew, get you some skinny paint brushes. We're gonna practice. I'm gonna make a whole video about me practicing these lines, you guys. I can't make a line? I can't make a line? What in the what? Yo, this whole, throw this whole video away. <laughs> From beginning to end, it's just been a problem. Yo, I'm very sad today, you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope y'all are getting something out of it. Even if it's just entertainment and the fact that I told you guys what not to get, don't get that gel. Don't get it. I, don't get it. 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 No, don't get it. Let me tell you something. I've tried that gel at a friend's house. Sydney, if you're watching, hey, girl, hey. I went to Sydney's house. I hope you don't mind me telling our business. I went to Sydney's house. Sydney had that gel. I did her nails at her house with that gel. So when that company reached out to me and said, do you want to try our gel? I thought that, of course, like I've tried it before. It worked great. You know, it cured fine. Everything was everything. So I thought I was really going to like it and then I got it and so I don't know it could be different vendors she could have perhaps got hers from eBay AliExpress and I got mine straight from the vendor let me tell you something I'm not even going to put the link in the description box for it because I don't want you guys to get it at all don't even play them games like I don't know what's in it I don't know these ingredients I don't trust it I should have known something wasn't right when you told me the nail cleaner had some acetone or whatever ingredients in it and it smells straight like water and I just no mm -mm. don't do it now crew I love y'all so much do not get it okay I'm sorry I'm sorry and to the vendor that sent me that bull crap shame on you shame on you you knew you sent me some crap you you sent me some water in the bottle go slap ingredients on the outside of it that was a bottle of water shame on you and whatever's in this gel bottle is not gel i don't know what it is i i just don't know you guys it was just a whole just oh my gosh <laughs> i gotta laugh i have to laugh but thank god it was free so i'm upset but it's not the end of the world because honestly i didn't pay for it and it's going right in the trash just plain and simple all right so let's look at these sweater nails or my attempt thereof right so the lines that i drew on that took me forever because i suck at it but i got the lines on they're not perfect but okay we're working with it this is my first attempt ever my first try ever in life you guys so you know the first try is not gonna be perfect so yeah you know i see where i went wrong and when i do them again they're gonna be banging yeah they're gonna be banging when i do them again but as you can tell by the little hash marks or the little lines that i drew i got that from youtube i watched a few videos on um, people doing sweater nails and i can't remember who did it like this but bless your heart yes when i saw that i was like oh 
Oh, bingo, bingo. I'm on it. Nail crew must see it. So I cannot remember where I got it from. I literally watch nail videos like from sunup to sundown on YouTube. And then when I get tired of YouTube nail videos, I watch them on Instagram. So I don't remember all the time exactly where I get things from. But I can tell you this was not an original idea. But I do love the idea. I love how simple it made it. I just have to clean up some of my lines because y'all know I suck at them but oh look at that sweater now she look like a sweater or whatever she looking like a sweater I could definitely see you know where I went wrong where the line should have been thicker or thinner I could see where I need to improve however for my first time for this trial run you guys this looks so good to me I'm so happy I'm so happy. Even though the video started out like a disaster, I didn't know what was going to happen today, Nail Crew. I didn't know if I was going to end up with a video at all because it was just so frustrating. You guys have to understand the frustration that I was feeling trying to put those nails on my practice trainer hand and the gel was just turning into a gummy mess. I was just so sad. I was just so sad. All right, nail crew. So here is another weird part in doing this set of nails. Not only did we have to add gel, right? We had to add gel to the polish to thicken it up. Now we're making it even more thicker by throwing on some acrylic. So before you cure your sweater design, before you put that in a lamp, you sprinkle acrylic on top. You could even use glitter acrylic in which... You guys, when I do this design again, I think I'm gonna try glitter acrylic if I have some with me because I feel like this would be super cute with a glitter acrylic. Oh my God, so nice. But because I don't have glitter acrylic, I am just going to apply the glitter that I used on the other nail. So I'm speeding this up because basically I'm just tracing the lines that are already set out for me. I'm tracing that with the glitter and I'm just making everything cohesive, all the nails, will have glitter on them and I think that's just gonna make it so cute it's gonna tie everything together these nails were so easy to do now that I got it you know when you're looking at other people do it it's like ah that looks hard or eh, I think I could do it but it's not until you really just get the paintbrush out and try it for yourself until you just really really know so looking at the sweater nail design i thought it was going to be super super hard because i know i suck at drawing lines i suck at overall painting regardless okay like it's just not my forte so i thought that it was going to suck but you know it's not perfect and everything first time doing it um but I like it. I like it. And now that I see where I went wrong, I know how to fix it when I do my own nails. So we can consider this little nail look today as like me practicing for what I want to do for my nails because I love this blue. I love the blue. I love the blue and the glitter. And I love how the sweater look. Oh my God. It just looks so cute. Like everything is just, uh, 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 uh. Uh, all right, let's add the top coat. Let's add the top coat. So the top coat that I'm using today is from The Pottle, and I will leave a link and coupon code to The Pottle in the description box. Now, normally I add thin layers of top coat, but because I have glitter on all my nails and I don't like that rough glittery feeling, I'm going in kind of thick with my top coat today, okay? So a nice, juicy, thick layer of top coat to really encapsulate and seal in all that glitter. Look how beautiful. Let's cure her, baby. Let's cure her. Pop her in the oven and let her bake, bake, bake. And this is her when she came out the oven looking all good. Looking scrumptious, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Yes, sweater nail. Yes, glitter nail. Come through. <laughs> Thank you guys. I know it was a whole like roller coaster of emotions today, but you stuck it out. You stuck with me to the end. And for that, I love you. <laughs> I'll see you next time, Nail Crew. Bye.